Hi, hello, and howdy. This is Sheila. Welcome back to the Painting Peak Studio. Um, sorry, I was MIA some last week. I was a little under the weather, so uh, I'll try to make it up to you. Um, and for those who have hung in there with me, I appreciate it. Uh, hugs and kisses go out to Little Hedgehog, Patricia Carter, uh, William Diddy, Tona Lawrence, Jin Jin's Creations, Cindy Wolf, let's see, yeah, Cindy Wolf, uh, JML Journals, Donna Galbraith, Charlotte Sanders, Lisa Gomez, Karen Petrus, Macaria Claudia Silva, and Linda Dyer. And hopefully I haven't butchered any of your names too bad, but please forgive me if I did. Now, we're back to the Tim Holtz Botanical Lap Book. And I did work on it some, but to be quite honest, I think I went three or four days last week without even walking into my craft room, which is uh, a bit on the unusual side. Um, but I just uh, did not feel well, and um, but it was not COVID. Everything's fine. I think it was just a temporary, maybe uh, got some bad food. But anyway, excuse the sniffles again. It's early morning, and it seems like I do this every time. But anyway, so in your absence, I did decide to put uh, these little cards behind the flip-ups. And uh, I'm using Tim Holtz uh, Little Butterflies. Uh, they are fastened with foam, sticky foam tape on one side, uh, and to raise them up just a wee bit so they can be the fasteners. So that's going to go there, I believe, unless I've changed my mind, and I haven't so far. So <laughs> we'll we'll ex expect that to be there. Now, on this one, <clears throat> I have uh, decided to put a pocket here and so I'm gonna go ahead and glue <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down oh, if I can come on medicine kick in <laughs> I don't know that I'd be any better at gluing a straight line when it does kick in but uh, I take medicine from my little shaky shaky hands what do you think is that all right uh, did I get it on there straight it could come this way just a little bit if it will Okay, okay, and then this will flip up, and this will flip up, and I may put um, uh, a vellum pocket here and um, put a writing board in there. I wish I had thought about it before I had sewn, stuck this all down, because that would have made a good pocket for a writing board, but um, we will see. So here, I thought I would um, put uh, this little notebook. I'm still a bit undecided, but uh, I don't need these on there. I've got one side. Um, I've got a um, eyelet going through there to hold it, and I'm going to put one there. And it's just two pieces squeezed together, a la Nick. That's one of the things she did in hers. But she did not put it here. And, uh, but I think that's where I want it to go. So, I'm going to kind of move all this to the side. So, I'm going to move all this to the side. And, uh, all this. And make room for my little, um, I have a We Are Memories Keeper little board thingy that goes with my eyelet setter. 
And guys, I have two crop dolls, and I just find, I, I just, I'm just no good at them, at using those. Uh, my big one, the big bite, I, I actually do it right, maybe one out of, maybe 50% of the time. <laughs> And the other, the handheld one, I just can't seem to make it work. Don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've read the the little instructions and put them on the right little dial setting. Still no. Most times they just, uh, they're rough in the back. They just don't, you know, get that good... Uh, flush. See, that's there's nothing. Just snag on me right there. Not so if that were a crop doll, I'm telling you. Okay. So, I just got this little eyelet setter. This little uh, magnetic um, board with it. And my little hammer and my little setter. And it's just one, two, three. three. There we go. There we go. So, now I've just got to find my twine that goes through there because I can't find it for anything. But I did um, find some that I was missing and got some things uh, tidied up that needed to be while I was looking for it. So, that will... will Actually, I'm going to glue it in, but it will have this um, this twine here. I think this is it. Ah, well, this is not it, but <laughs> this is crochet thread. So that's a little thin, but uh, when I do find it, I will be using that to uh, just for decoration because, like I said, I'm just going to glue it. I and I bet some of you have already spotted my mistake. Mm hmm Yeah, I bet you have. Uh, let's talk closure. <laughs> Notice I have not, uh, I have not, I've already got all my paste downs, as Nick calls them. Well, I think this is what she's calling paste downs. But here in my, um, the uh, side spines, we'll call them, I was going to put a latch closure. I don't know how, I, I did order some, but I don't think they're Tim Holtz. And I don't know how well they would have worked. But... See, it's kind of, they're kind of close. I don't have to, ugh. you see, that's as far apart as I could have gotten them. So, it, maybe it's a good thing that I didn't try to do that ahead of time. So, what I have come up with this morning is, um, I found this leatherette button in the um, the generous amount of buttons that uh, my friend Margaret gave me from... I'm going to call it a granny button. Every button that I use of hers, I'm going to call it a granny button. And my friend Margaret gave them to me from her 100-year-old grandmother's stash collection that she had collected over the years. So, what I thought I would do is... Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to attach it like that. So what I thought, and this bit of leather, rawhide, whatever, uh, my husband, <laughs> I'm going to have to credit him with that because he brought it in here one day. He said, do you, is there anything you can do with that? And I said, yes, give it, give it, give it. Um, and I have an old handbag that uh, I was thinking about donating, but 
what I can do with it, I'm thinking, is I've got some um, breads. Now, I, these are not my preferred color. So, let me know in the comments below what you think. If Because I, I want to put my Tim Holtz little ring here. That's one thing I forgot. And so, I'd kind of like that metal to match up. And I think it would actually look better on this leather. And I've got a... <clears throat> I've got another piece I can do because I got off center there. But <clears throat> what I thought, I would just put it there and thread the um, leather through. So that will hold it. It's not going to go anywhere. And then this is also from uh, Granny's stash. I thought it was interesting. I don't know what she would have used that for. But I put a jump ring and a bulb ring on it. And you can see how it coordinates with the uh, journal fabric. At least maybe you can. I think it does anyway. It's not quite as red. But um, I thought I would attach that to the end and then you can just loop it through and voila. You can wrap it a couple of times and loop it or whatever. It's still a work in progress, but that's my idea. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll work it out some way, but these these elements to me are just too good to pass up. Uh, and like I said, this is a leatherette. I used my new drill that I got for my birthday to make the holes larger. And um, this is also like a leatherette or vinyl type covering over it. So I think that will be cute if I can figure out how to use it. <laughs> And uh, so, let me know about the metals, if you think they should match, and mm, what you think about my closure idea, <clears throat> if you have any suggestions how to make that work. I know we can make it work, I just don't know exactly how, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm just going to stick those right there. And the good part is, I haven't glued this in. So, once I do those two things to the spine, uh, which will mean punching holes in this, this that, that is already covered here, well, this is going to cover that up. So, no worries there. And this is the, um, this is what you want to use on that little notebook, too. So, on this side, right here, let's get busy with it. Um, I think there is a, uh, got a little bit over there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think there's any danger of messing up if I go ahead and glue this. So, I already got it inked. So, uh, and you know what? I think I want to use my Fabri-Tac. Uh, one reason is there's not that much left in this bottle, so I want to get it used up. And the other, that seems to be what Nick, the booksmith, used mostly in making hers. Uh, so, we'll go follow right along there with Nick. Now, as I said, this is, uh, it's... I've already got it planned out, so I know that I won't need to glue anything or hinge anything underneath this. So that why, that is why I think it's safe to go ahead and glue it. And I may speed this up if it takes much longer. Okay. 
So it seemed generous enough. I hope so. All right. Now, I'm just going to line it up there at the top. And if that bothers me too bad, get it straight, Sheila. If that bothers me too badly, mm, I see what it is. This piece of paper is not cut real straight, I don't think. But there we go. And I found this after thinking I had lost it. How about that? That's happened a lot, <clears throat> and what's happened a lot as well is losing things that never are seen again. Now let's see. <laughs> All right, Fabri-Tac, don't fail me now. And also there's fabric right here, so that's another good reason to use it, huh? Okay, guys, you are just so patient and good to me. I appreciate it. This is my little retirement job that I'm enjoying very much. Doesn't pay a whole lot. <laughs> it's fun. Yes, it is. And it certainly gives me a creative outlet, which makes my life much happier. Makes me much happier. I hope, hope it does the same for you. Now, ooh, be careful. Okay, so here is what goes here. Now, we have made these before, and Nick shows how to make them in her video, which I have linked the first video in the series uh, below, and I suggest you go over, if you do want to build one of these, guys, you've got to go over and, and watch her uh, actually building it, because she far surpasses me, <laughs> far, far surpasses, of course, she's been doing it a little bit, too. But what I did here, and apparently I felt inclined to cover it over, <clears throat> I think I showed you how to do this by hand um, when I did it, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Because I have a slot punch that um, I used for making my, what I call my uh, slotted, slot pocket notebook. Slide, slotted notebook pocket maybe but to do these it, it just required well for me it required some measuring but you cut out your <clears throat> what you're going to what is going to be your slot guard let's call that a slot guard uh, a rectangular piece of paper you can round the corners if you like you find the center and you come in about a quarter of an inch or so and um, put a dot in the middle where your center is. Draw a line from there to there. Then, then it's the hard part, or at least it was for me. You lay your ruler down. You, you take your um, crop a dial or your... before you glue them to your paper. Okay? This is before you glue them to your paper. And you punch your holes where your dots were. Okay? And so that leaves a line connecting them. Then you lay your ruler on one side of the line and get your um, craft knife and cut from there to there. And then I thought it was easier to turn it around and do it again like that. But you do it like you, you what's best for you. But because uh, my slot punch could not, it was not that deep, I had to do it uh, by hand like that. 
if you have a slot punch, and what I'm calling a slot punch is one of these contraptions. Now they make a different. They make different ones. Okay. Okay, guys, I have a uh, precious piggy moment for you. Or if you're in the South, uh, it's a, a bless her heart moment. <laughs> I've been sitting here this morning. I got I got uh, dressed in in real clothes, not my what I call house clothes that have paint and glue and all this stuff all over them, stained. Um, and I fixed my hair, did all this, you know, to look presentable. Because I was expecting this company to come give me an estimate about something. And, and they were due at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock came and went. And I thought, well... And I was about to, to uh, text to see what was going on. And guess what? The appointment's Wednesday, not today. Today is Monday. <laughs> Bless my heart. I tell you what. So, I have now got this glued in. And to show you once again, we have a pocket here and a pocket here. And to finish what I was saying, um, just so your, your card won't get lost in there, uh, uh, and Nick had a suggestion from a viewer about that, or a comment from a viewer about that. So, what she did, I'm trying to find something to show you. She glued envelopes on the back. So, this is an individual pocket, and this is an individual pocket. Now, she happened to have three, and I thought two looked better on mine. But, um, so that's how she did it and I um, did the same now over here I have used I believe this is a pink monarch digital uh, oh by the way this is a an actual page from one of the um, encyclopedias that we're using for the uh, lap book okay so we have a pocket here and uh, again, with the uh, botanical floral theme. So, on this page, okay, what I've got prepared is, and I don't actually have it prepared because I do want to sew it. So I want to stitch it. But I have this. Now, this is Tim Holtz. Um, but it's the miniature version of this, I do believe, and it's got this on the back, but I did not put a writing page on the back because I thought this all pertained to what the, the, the journal is about. This actually could be what you write on. Um, I thought... You know, it would show up. It would show up well, and so I'm thinking you can journal on that side. So I didn't bother to um, to change that. So I'm going to sew that, and then on the front of that, I've got this little pocket. Now this is another piece of the ephemera from the uh, Woodland Diaries. Diaries by Paper Craftivity, uh, the, the little digital. And so that is what is going to go there. And I haven't decided on a tag for that yet. So we will, we will see that next time. And over here uh, will be... something. <laughs> Suggestions are welcome. I'm, I'm going to, oh, I know what it is. I know what it was. So, I think it's going to be 
No, it's not going to be that one. I think. Well, it may be. But I think for continuity, I think I want this. And don't you, don't you think? And then this glassine bag to go down there on top of it and a some more of the woodland uh, themed printables on top of there I think so that would be there and then you turn over here and I will, we will do the back side of this the next time I think because I want to keep these short, if at all possible. So, again, comments, um, answers to my questions, all that is welcome. <laughs> and thumbs up is definitely welcome. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate that so much, more than you know. And uh, so, it's time to say, stay well, take care, hugs and kisses, until next time. Bye-bye.